Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, March 3rd. This is not the next part of my horror collection overview for 2018. It's actually a end, you can technically, technically say end of the month haul, including some stuff I got today, because I bought a shitload of stuff today, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go back and show off everything. So, because um, there's a lot. <laughs> So, first one's up. I got from Sunrise Records when I went out to Metrotown. Because I wanted to go see Black Panther, but I also wanted to see Fifty Shades Freed. And it was the only theater that had both of them in good timing. Like, if I went to our one up in Langley, I'd have to wait an hour for the uh, Fifty Shades. So, I was like, nope. So, it worked out perfectly. One of the showings was at um, noon. Black Panther was at noon, which was awesome. And then when it was over, I had like 10, 15 minutes to spare before Fifty Shades of Freed, which I liked. So, but then again, I like those movies. I don't care. But uh, before that, I, got, I had to take the bus and Skytrain. Damn. Uh, I still had like half an hour to kill, so I went to Sunrise Records. And the first one I bought was uh, Doctor Who, Twice Upon a Time. This was the... Uh, Last year's Christmas special and the goodbye to Peter Capaldi. Ah. And then I found the Scream Factory edition of Drag Me to Hell. I was like, yes. And found the Scream Factory edition of Motel Hell. And this I have not seen. So then, um, not together, but these three came from Amazon. Uh, first one I got was Hellraiser Judgment which is the 10th film in the series, and I watched this the other day, and I was actually surprised that I liked it. I was kind of, I was going in, ugh, fuck, going in with very, very low expectations, and I actually liked it. To me, it's better than most of the, between 4 and 10, it's better than most of the sequels. And I grabbed American Mary, because I thought, well, you know what's coming in Horror Pack, you might as well get this. So, I did. <laughs> And the other one was uh, Salem Season 2, because it was on sale on Amazon, but Season 1 wasn't, but I found it really good for a really good price on uh, eBay. And I found this at um, Walmart, and I was like, oh, this looks neat, and it's called Blood Feast. I didn't realize that this is a remake of an old um, a 70s film. I got it because one of the guys is from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. And Caroline Williams, who, of course, we know from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And then uh, went out and... Did I miss one? I have a feeling I missed one. No, I didn't. Oh, I know what it was. Okay, one... Uh, went to another uh, Sunrise Records, and they had two for $10 DVDs. Um... Because I was looking through them, and I was like, I know these three are out on Blu-ray, but there's so much money, and like two for ten dollars, I can't turn it down. The one that's not out on Blu-ray, The Changeling, I've always wanted to see this. And one that wasn't on the uh, two for ten dollars, but it was only six ninety nine, The Devil Inside, which I liked. And the Blu-ray is going, at certain places, is going for a sane amount of money. And I grabbed Hard Target. Messengers 2, The Scarecrow, and THX 1138. I know this is out on Blu-ray, but it was under the two for ten bucks, so half of these Blu-rays only cost me, or DVDs only cost me five bucks. Then on Tuesday, just this past Tuesday when I started to get sick, uh, we had to go to Walmart because I wanted to grab Coco. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. I haven't even put my code in yet, but that will be after the video. And then I saw this horror DVD, House of Demons. It was only 10 bucks. so the only thing that pissed me off is I had to get my mom to take me up to the Best Buy, which is right across the street. So I think from now on, I'm just going to go to Best Buy because Walmart, they had Coco, but they had the 4K Blu-ray and the DVD of this, and I wanted it on normal Blu-ray, Murder on the Orient Express. So is anybody else having these problems with Walmart? It, it's really starting to piss me off. And then we got home and got both my horror packs in the uh, mail. So 
there was the double feature that had A Brush with Death and Harvest of Fear. The other Blu-ray was Chernobyl Diaries, which I had, so I gave that to my mom. And of course, our Horror Pack Limited Edition, Dead Hooker in a Trunk. And I was so excited over this, I forgot to mention that this was the Horror Pack Limited Edition number 19. But I think everybody knew it. And The Fly, this is the one I kept, because I actually looked at it. It looked like I had gotten that Fly Blu-ray used, so it looked like someone had just poked holes in it. I was just excited because it was $5, so... And for the DVDs, I got, there was Croxzilla, which I got in an, a six, a seven movie pack, but I'll keep this one. The other one was Deep Blue Sea. I gave that to my mom, and she was so excited for that. The other one was uh, Flavor Flay's Night Tales Dead Tone. And, ooh, ooh, <laughs> I'm still like, ooh, but I'll watch it since I own it. And, uh... These three arrive from, well, actually, I think a whole bunch of these I got from Amazon. Yeah, but not in all the same order. They're all different orders. The first three were one order, and I got the ABCs of Death, the Devil's Candy, the Scream Factory Edition. This is another one I've wanted to see for a while, and I was like, oh, I really want to see this, and it went on sale. It hadn't gone on sale because it was like, $35 and then went to $19.99 and I was like I'm buying it. Rawhead Rex. I know the it's not directed by but it was written by Clive Barker and I was like that's the given right there. And then the prize. Ooh, the Criterion Collection. I had to order this from Amazon.com because ours was uh, actually more expensive. Like uh, Criterion collections are are expensive either way, but I um, found it cheaper on Amazon.com, and even with the conversion, it was still cheaper than uh, our Canadian site. So I, I watched it. The transfer on it is awesome. And the other one I got uh, from Amazon was the ABCs of Death 2. And then went out to another Walmart here, because this was one I was looking for, but I almost everywhere they were out. And it was the DC Universe movie of Batman Gotham by Gaslight. And I found this horror DVD <laughs> uh, at Walmart. You find interesting horror films there. I found this Living Among Us for $10 that has Adam Sa Sadler. Adam? No, William Sadler. Oh, You know, from Die Hard 2 and Shawshank Redemption. And also as... Thomas Ian Nicholas, who I think is the guy from uh, Karate Kid Part 3. No, no, it's the American Pie guy. My bad. I just recognize him right there. But also, I think this is one of the last movies John Hurd did before he passed away. It just, I still can't get over that. Okay, so my mom and I went out today because it's actually, we have nice fucking weather for a change. No snow, no, like last night, it just poured. So uh, it was made for a miserable night. Um, but I went to one of the places I've mentioned here on my videos called Crazy Bob's. I've been going there for years. And I rated not only his horror DVDs, but his wrestling DVD and Blu-rays. And what I didn't know is that his wrestling ones were by four. I'm still doing my video! So, um, sorry. I told her not to bug me, but I think, is it time? Oh, yep, because dad, dad worked overtime today, so she's going out to meet him with my dog. But his wrestling DVDs and Blu-rays were buy four, get two free. I didn't see that, so I had to run back and grab one, and I'm happy with what I got. So, And he's the one that also, if you spend a certain amount of money, if you go outside, he's got a bunch of DVDs outside. How they don't get stolen, I don't know. But I could get four free ones. I was like... Oh, fuck yeah, I hit the jackpot. So the first one, I'm just doing the horror ones first. I got the uh, Boogeymen. I remember watching this and blah, but it's, a, it's that case with me with certain movies or I'll watch them years later and I liked it. This is the one from 2005. And then I found a bunch of these after horror, after dark horror fest. I found the Grave Dancers, which was in my... My uh, horror, um, my wish list on 
yeah, the, on eBay. Oh, blanking. Then I found another one that's called uh, Reincarnation from the director of The Grudge and The Grudge 2. And I found this Ghost House Underground Stagnite. Like, they were pretty cheap. I mean, the grave... Grave Dancers and Incarnation were the most expensive, six eighty five. <laughs> so now on to the the wrestling ones. And this one I I spotted it and I was like, I'm getting it, I'm getting it because I've never seen a documentary on this uh, particular wrestler wrestler and he's one of my favorites. And unfortunately, he died back in two thousand fifteen. Born to controversy, the Roddy. Piper story and this I love the fact that the guy put it in a plastic case like yeah it was twenty dollars but there was no way 1985 there was no way in fucking hell I was leaving the store without this <laughs> and it's a three disc set so it's like oh and found another documentary heart and soul the heart family anthology pretty sure everybody knows who Bret Hart Bret the hitman Hart, and of course his brother Owen Hart and um, the British Bulldog, and all those people. So I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. I think that would be really cool to see. And then when he told me that it was, you have to buy another one to get two free, I've never seen one on this wrestler, and that is uh, Ricky Steamboat, The Life Story of the Dragon, because, I mean, his match with Macho Man, Randy Savage at WrestleMania Series 3 is, like, in my top five. I don't watch wrestling now, <laughs> but after particularly Dusty Rhodes and Roddy Piper passing away, it made me revisit the old ones. So I was like, yeah, I'll grab that. And yet when I say that, I found this gem and I was like, fuck no, I'm not turning that down. Because I do have a anthology set of the WrestleManias from 85 to 2005. And I found this one. I was like, I'm getting it. WrestleMania 23 in the tin. The, oh god he's in it ah! <laughs> but it's a three disc ultimate edition oh oh the coolest things you find in here i have a film cell from wrestlemania 3 and it actually is the roddy piper one with adrian adonis oh oh dude i didn't know that one that's that's fucking getting framed and put on my wall and then the two he gave me for free was the WrestleMania 30 Blu-ray. I was like, holy shit. Because I was looking at it, I'm like, even though I probably skipped The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, because I know that's the one where The Undertaker's record got lost. I, he lost the match, and I know he's been like 21-0 and 0 since he started WrestleMania's back in 91. But, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> but this one was free, and so was this one. And this one I've seen in some people's horror film collection. It's WrestleManiac with Rey Mysterio, and I was like, oh, that's a that's a getter. <laughs> and then the ones I got for free, um, he told me just to pick four, so I picked uh, the Messenger story of Joan of Arc. That was another one I was trying to find the Blu-ray for. Same as with. This one, like, I am not, uh, I don't like romantic movies. I'm not really a big fan of them, but this one I am a fan of. And it's a double feature. I got it for the one, but I was like, fuck it, it's free. It's a double feature with Notting Hill and Aaron Brockovich. I got it for Notting Hill, but maybe I'll check out Aaron Brockovich. I'm going to freak people out. I'm, I call myself an 80s child, and I never saw this movie. But I was like, I'll get it. Pretty and pretty in pink it was free i was like i might as well finally watch it and the other one i got was the watcher that has kevin's uh kevin uh, james spader and keanu reeves i remember this one because my mom and i got to see it in the theater back in 2000 so that's all from the crazy bobs now i went to the other place that has good movies i got like a pretty good mixture of stuff and like this one, it's a childhood favorite. It was another one that's out on Blu-ray and I can't find it for a decent price. Annie. <laughs> I love this movie. But I was trying to find the Blu-ray and everywhere I went, it was like a little bit more than what I want to spend. And I 
found this for six dollars i don't know too much about it it's called the boogeyman um 19 the original 1980 version bonus full thing full length feature uh return of the boogeyman so if anybody's seen this let me know if it's good or not and i spotted this one that i thought would be a uh, really neat to get called cold prey i read the back and i was like yeah that sounds neat so and then i found his uh music concert stuff and these two they were both twenty dollars each but bes besides the fact that i got a bunch uh he knocked ten dollars off each and it was queen live at L wembley stadium 25th anniversary edition this was one i was looking for the blu-ray when um hmvs were going under and couldn't find it so i was like oh yeah and then the freddie mercury tribute tribute concert with everybody like david bowie roger daltrey def leppard uh guns and roses um metallica elton john all of them so i was like yes that was one i wanted to get and another one another one my dad and i got to see in the theater we both loved and i don't actually think i've ever had this on dvd and i was like yeah i'm getting it the three musketeers from 1993 with keith Sutherland, charlie sheen oliver platt and chris o'donnell this was such a good movie and is this the one that uh yes tim curry is in this one too see i haven't watched this in years so and found another horror film that i've seen in people's videos um and that and i was like oh i'll check this out it's called under the bed don't know too much about it and then when i went to pay for those i found a whole pile of movies that he was um um gonna be pricing and i found this this three disc collector's edition and if i am right that's wrestlemania 26 i think because the numeral numbers when they're that high i don't know but i think this is the t the 26 he threw this one in for free because disc two and three looked fine but disc one he said looked a little questionable so he's like i'll just throw this in for free and i was like <laughs> so i was like yeah i wouldn't watch the wrestling now like i had more fun watching the um the twitter feed for royal rumble uh and watching people's um reactions that were on youtube because i think ray mysterio is i don't know if he's retired or what but he came back for the royal rumble just like i remember seeing the um previews for the hardy boys coming back in the wrestlemania last year and how everybody just went absolutely ape shit over that <laughs> so it's got a thing of um includes the complete 2010 wwe hall of fame with like a million dollar man ted DiBiase, and Stu hart so it's like yeah so it was free so yeah guys i just decided to show off everything i've gotten in the past couple three to four weeks so a lot of everything in a way because i don't seem like i'm a wrestling fan but i'm more old school but i mean i ain't turning down free stuff so <laughs> so yeah guys uh, that's it let me know what you all think of these titles uh, oh i was like what the hell is that on my counter um which which um yeah fuck it <laughs> uh my next video will be the next part in my horror collection and after again after the video i realized i keep forgetting the horror pack exclusives because i keep them all in the h's like horror pack limited editions so i think before i do p q r s i'm gonna show off everything horror pack limited edition regardless of if i've shown some of them or not because i'm getting sick and tired of forgetting all of them okay so don't know when that video would be i might do it tomorrow i might do it monday because like i said i only they're cutting hours again so i only have one shift next week so until my next video guys i hope you all have a good day watch a shitload of movies and of course as always like comment please subscribe and i shall see you in the next video bye